All right. Mass star, and of course, 123, 070, 620, 47 to 99. All right, so let's start right there. With polynomial, C is 1, P is C, find P is C A by, the, by direct substitute and B the remainder theorem. So P1 direct means put the 1 in there. 1 times 1 is 1 times that is 3, and 6, and yeah, that's going to be 9 minus 6, so 3. So P1 is 3. I just substitute it in there, or 1, 3. Synthetic division, you put 1, put the numbers there, these three numbers right there. 3 down here, 1 times 1, 3, 3 and that's 9, 1 times 9 is 9, 9 and 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, so remainder is 3, that's the answer. Again, put the numbers in there, those three numbers right there. Bring the 1 down, the 3 down, 1 times 3 is 3, 6 and 3 is 9, and 9 up here, and that's going to be 3. Remainder is 3. So that's the answer. That's the answer. Alright. Divide using synthetic division. Okay. So we'll put the opposite of this, negative 1. Put the numbers in. 8, 13. And bring 8 down. That sends us negative 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. That sends us negative 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. So 8x plus 5 and 3 over x plus 1 is the answer. Now, long division. 8x squared plus 13 plus 8 divided by this. So ax times that is 8x squared. That times that is 8x. Subtract this minus this, this minus this, 5x and 8. So now 5 times that is 5x. 5 times that is 5. 5 minus 5 is gone. 8 minus 5 is 3, remainder. So bring it up here. 8x plus 5, 3 over x plus 1. This one or this one. Same thing. Factor. 2x times this, does that give you this? Yes. 2x times that, does that give you that one? Yes. Factor completely. Possible answers? I'm going to say 7, 5. x plus 5, x minus 7. Check it. x times x squared minus 7x plus 5x minus 35. x squared minus 2x minus 35. Correct. So rewrite it first. t squared, 8t minus 33. So now, possible numbers, we want to try that one. t minus 3, t plus 11. That turns out as t squared. That turns out as 11t. That turns out as negative 3t. That turns out as negative 33. t squared, 11 and as 8t minus 33. Is that matches? Yes. Right there. 2, 1, 3, 1. Our guess. 2x plus 1, x minus 3. Does that work? Let's check it. That turns out as 2x squared. That turns out as minus 6x, that turns out as 1x, that turns out as minus 3. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Does that match? Yes. Factor the perfect square dynomial. 6x, 16x squared minus 7 minus that. Our guess is 4x minus 7, 4x minus 7 from these numbers. Check. 4 times that is 16x squared, that turns out as minus 28, minus 28 plus 49. 16x squared minus 56. Plus 49. Correct. So this one or this one. Factor. Difference of squares. So there's a formula. A squared B squared. A plus B A minus B. So 9x is 81. 4 times 14 is that. So 9x plus 14. 9x minus 14 from the formula. Solve. x minus 6 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. I say it's x6. x equals 6. And minus 1 minus 1, so x equals 81. So those are the answers. 6x equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. Divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals 0. At 9, at 9, so x equals 9. 0 and 9. 3x plus 5 equals 0, 7x minus 8 equals 0. So now we have minus 5 minus 5, so 3x equals negative 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals negative 5 or 3. 7x minus 8, add 8, add 8, 7x equals 8, divide by 7, divide by 7, so x equals 8 over 7. So x times this, x times that is this, yes, x equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, so add 3, add 3, so 0 and 3. Minus 40, bring it to this side, so now 40 is all these, I'm going to try these two numbers here, plus 10, plus 4, minus 10. Let's check it. 
Does that work? Yes. And that one now is negative 6. Okay. So x plus 4 is that. Minus 4 minus 4. x equals negative 4. Minus 10 plus 10. So x equals 10. So negative 4 and 10. Factor out the x. You have 25x squared minus 1. This one, a squared minus b squared, a plus b, a minus b. So 5 squared, 1 squared. 5x plus 1. 5x minus 1. So x is 0. 5x plus 1 equals 0. 5x minus 1 equals 0. That's done. Minus 1 minus 1. 5x and 81. Divided by 5. Divided by 5. 81 over 5. Add 1 at 1. 5x of 1. Divided by 5. Divided by 5. So x equals 1 over 5. 0. 81 over 5. 1 over 5. Our guess is this. Does that work? 30x squared. That's, that's 30. That's going to be 25. Minus 36 is 11. Yes. So that works. So 5x minus 6 equals 0. Add 6x6. Six, six. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. So 6 over 5. Add 5, subtract 5, subtract 5, so 6x equals negative 5, divided by 6, divided by 6, so 6 over 5, and negative 5 over 6. So, our guess, 4 times that is 4x squared, that's negative 5, that's going to be negative 20, and 1 is negative 18, yes. So, minus 1, minus 1, divided by 4, divided by 4, x equals negative 1 fourth. Add 5, add 5, so x equals negative 1 fourth, and 5. Take the 2 out, 2 times that, 2 times that, 2 times that, because it is 27 is those numbers right there. We try 2x minus 9. Nah, that times that 2x squared, that times that 27. This can be 6 minus 9 minus 3. So now, 2 equals 0, no way. 2x minus 9, yes. x plus 3 equals yes. So add 9, add 9, 2x equals 9, divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals 9 over 2. Minus 3 minus 3, so x equals negative. So 9, 9 over 2, negative 3. Factor this out. 7 and 7, sometimes that's 49. 7 and 7, 2 is 14. So x plus 7 is 0. x plus 7 is 0. Minus 7 minus 7, negative 7. Minus 7 minus 7, so minus 7. So 97 is always. So we just put one answer, negative 7. Find the x intercepts, let y equal 0. So find x intercept, let y equal 0. So 0 equals this. Factor this out. 2 and that's negative 6. Negative 3 and that's that. Okay, so x plus 2 equals 0. Minus 2 minus 2, x is negative 2. Minus 3, add 3, add 3. So negative 2 and 3, or negative 2, comma 0. 3, comma 0. So there's the points right there, the intercepts. Write the quadratic function. What you call an equation that has two solutions, 3 and minus 7. So x is 3, x is minus 7. So minus 3 minus 3, x minus 3 equals 0, plus 7. So x minus 3 times x plus 7 equals 0. There's the answer. Or you can fold it. That times that is x squared. That times that is 7x minus 3x minus 21. So x squared plus 4x minus 21. So this one or this one. y equals negative 16x squared plus 4x plus 240. Put the numbers in your calculator. You're going to get all these numbers here and graph them. Or you can put it in your calculator. Yes, of course. Let's do that. Calculator. Okay. Windows. Windows. Negative 2. 7 and negative 350 and 250. Yep. So y is negative 16 x squared plus 4 x plus 240. Okay, hit graph. There it goes. So there's a graph like this, and you can trace it to get some points if you need to. Okay. Get the reciprocal of this, rewrite it, and multiply it across. 30x squared over 5x. Y8, 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 A plus A is 16. So now, 5 times 6 for 5. X squared, X squared, those are gone. So now we have 16 in the bottom. 8 and 8 is 16. 
five five cancels. You have six on top and Y sixteen on the bottom. That's it. Graph the linear equation y equals negative five x. So you're gonna put some numbers in there. And let's put that right now. Okay. Put a zero in there. Zero times that is zero. Put a one in there. Eighty five. So zero zero one eighty five. Zero zero and one eighty five. Or put it in the calculator, sure. Let's see. Windows, that's fine. Y. Negative five X and hit graph. And you can do a trace if you want to do a trace. Trace. Zero zero. Anyway. Negative three X plus three. Put a zero in there. Two times that zero zero three is three. Put a one in there. That's gonna be three and eight, three and three is zero. So you have two zero three and one zero right there. Or can we put in a calculator? Sure. Negative three X plus three hit graph. There it is. So you can do trace if you want. Get some numbers. Y equals one half x plus four. Put a zero in there. Zero times that is zero plus four is four. Two in there. Two, two over two is one. One in that is five. So zero, four, two, five, zero, four, two, five. That's it. Or put in a calculator. Sure, let's do that. One half. One divided by two plus four. Graph. There it is. Do a trace if you want to. Find the equation line with the given slope and continue the point. Write equation in function notation. All right, y minus y one equals this. So put the numbers in there. Five x minus x one in slope. So x minus six. That's another three x minus eighteen. Add five, add five. So y equals three x minus thirteen. Or f of x equals 3x minus 13, function notation. Find the equation in the line with a given slope containing the given point. Okay. Write the equation using function notation. So slope, point, put them in there. So negative 7 over 10, x minus x1, and then y minus 0. That's going to be y. That times that is negative, negative positive. That's going to be negative, negative. That's it. So factor this out. 7 times that, 2 times 5. These cancel, so y equals negative 7 times x minus 7 over 2, or function notation, f of x equals negative 7 over 10, x minus 7 over 2. Right, find the equation of a line passage at a given point, so use function notation to write the equation. x1, y1, x2, y2, put them in there, the two point formula. Numbers are in there, yes, so now negative, negative is positive, that's going to be negative. 1, negative 4, 1 minus 2 in the bottom, x minus 1. So negative 5, negative that, it's going to be 5, 5 times that's 5x, 5 times that's negative 5, add 1, minus 1, minus 1. So we have y equals 5x minus 6, or function notation, f of x equals 5x minus 6. Find the equation of the line using the function notation, slope, point. Put the numbers in there. We have y1, slope, x minus x1. That's negative and is positive, that's going to be x plus 2 is x times that. Let me see, x plus 2 is still going to be x plus 2. But 0 times that is, that is correct. Okay, so we got that fixed up right there. So now, minus 1 minus 1, so y equals negative 1, or f of x equals negative 3. Okay, let me show you another thing about this. Negative three, that means one, two, three. I mean, this graph goes like this. And the domain is negative infinity to infinity. And the range of this is going to be just, what is that number? Negative three, that's it. So domain, left and right, is negative infinity to infinity. 
in the range, the bottom and top of this graph is going to go what? Just, that's it. Infinity, infinity, that's it. Next one. Find the equation of the line through the given point. It's parallel to this. Parallel means what? It's the same slope. So parallel to this is that. So put it in there. Y minus 8 equals 3 times that minus that. 3 times that, 3x minus 12 plus 8 plus 8. So y equals 3x minus 4. So f of x equals 3x minus 4 function notation. All right. Find the equation of the line. Write the equation using function notation. So there's the point perpendicular to this means solve for y. y equals 1 half x. This perpendicular means what? Get reciprocal of this and change the sign. Positive to negative. And it's going to be negative to slope. So we have slope, point. Put them in there. Negative is positive. That's going to be negative 2 times that. Negative 2 times that is going to be that. So at minus 6 minus 6, so y equals negative 2x plus 4 plus 8. Or f of x equals negative 2x plus 8. Function notation. Find the equation line equation using the slope and the y intercept, 0, 5. Put them in there. Minus 5, negative 2 fifths, x minus 0. x minus 0 is just x, that's right. That times that is negative 2 fifths x. And then add 5, add 5. So y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 5. Or function notation. Negative 2x, 2 fifths x plus 5. Find the equation of the line that goes through the two points right there. And then, what happens when you put 5 in there? All right, so let's put the two point formula, set it up. That minus that is negative 64 by negative 2 is 32. 32 times that is 32x. That times that is negative 32. Add 44, add 44. So there's a formula right there. Y equals 32x plus 12. Now, what happens when you put 5 in there? 32 times 5 is this plus that, so y equals 7, 172. So when you put this number in there, what happens? What you get? 172. Find the equation of the line to the two points, and then what happens when you put 650 in there? Two point formula again, put the numbers in. This minus this, this minus this, 500 by this, negative 250 times that. That times that, 1500. At 3,000, at 3,000, these are gone. So y equals negative 250, x plus 4,500. So now what happens when you put 6.50 in there? 6.50 times this is this plus that. That one is, that is 28.75. D of x is this formula. What happens to D of 21? So put this times this over 20, this times this, 21 over this, divide by that, doing the calculator, get the answer. Graph, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 11. Put us put in the calculator. Sure, why not? Calculator. Okay. So we have x squared. x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 11. Graph. Okay. So it's over here somewhere. So, you can do a trace if you want. You get some numbers like 0, 11. There's a number. You keep going like that to the right. You'll get more numbers and more numbers. you get as many numbers as you need. So, domain, negative infinity, infinity. Range from 2 to infinity. X, axis symmetry, axis symmetry. Axis symmetry is x equals 3. Right there in the middle. That's it. Y varies directly as X, find a constant variation K and a direct variation equation for the situation. Y is 5 when X is 50. So Y equals KX because it's Y varies directly as X. Put the numbers in. Divide by 15, divide by 15. So 5 over 15 is 5 times that, 5 times that. These cancel. 1 over 3 equals K. So there's a. Now I'll put it back in the formula. Y equals 1 over 3, 3X. There's a constant, there's a formula. Y bar is x, x, find a constant variation and direct variation equation for the situation. There's the numbers, y equals kx from this. Put the numbers in, divide by 4, divide by 4. So this is going to be 2 times that, 2 times that. 7 over 2 is this. Put it back in the formula, so y equals 7 over 2x. Solve this inequality. So it begins 
uh, so value this greater than eight, it's less than negative eight or positive, greater than positive eight. Less than negative 16, greater than, go to 16. So minus four, minus four, minus 20, done. Minus four, minus four, x is greater than equal to 12. So less than negative 20 or equal, greater than equal to 12. So negative 20 this way, 12 that way, or infinity to infinity. Graph this. All right, so x plus y is s, solve for x, these are gone. So y is less than or equal to this. Now put some numbers in, zero. Zero is gonna be zero minus three minus three. Put a negative three in there. Negative, negative is positive, three minus three is zero. So we have negative three, zero, zero, negative three. That's the line right there. Now, is it this way or this way? Let's check this number here. See this number here? Put it back in there. So negative three plus negative two, negative three, negative two, negative five. Is that less than or equal to negative three? Yes. So since this one worked here, that means the numbers are all this way. Solve for y, minus x minus x, 5y is this, divide by 5, 5, 5. So y is less equal to 81 is this, 81 fifth x minus 1. So put a 0 in there, 0 turns out 0 minus 1, 81. Put a negative 5 in there, 85 turns out negative. It's going to be 5, 5, negative. it's going to be negative, negative is positive, so 0. So we got 0, negative 1, and negative 5 and 0 right there. There. So now, let's try it. Let's put a number in there. Negative 5, negative 1. Is it working there? Let's see. Negative 5, 5 times that. Negative 5, negative 5, negative 10. Is that less than 5? Yes. So that means the answer is what? Right here, this way. X plus Y is less than 1400 and is restricted by these two. So let's do that. So solve for y, minus x minus x, so y is less than this. You write it, put a zero in there, zero you get 1400. And if you put 1400, you get a zero. So zero, 1400, 1400, zero, so it's in here somewhere. This one, rewrite this, negative four to the third, x to the 12, y to the six, using this right here. Using this prime number start right there. So now, we have three divides this power, three divides this power, three divides this power. So that's gonna give you one, to the one is that. It's gonna be four, that's gonna be two, so negative four, x four, y two. Graph this, put the numbers in, 11. 11 minus seven is zero, that's zero. Put 12, 12 minus one is, 12 minus 11 is one, square to one is one, 15. 15 minus 11 is four, square to four is two. 20 minus 11 is nine, square root of nine is three. So we got the numbers. So we got one, 11 is zero, 12 and one, 15 and two, and 20 and three. So there's the numbers. So the domain is gonna be from 11, right here, 11. From 11 to infinity. And the range is going to go from what? From zero, from the bottom, to infinity. So 11 to infinity, and from zero to infinity is the range. All right, so we write this, three squared, three and three is nine. And one half times that, one half times that. So that's going to be two over one times this, four over one times this. So that's going to be two over two, four over two, two over two is one, this is going to be two. Three to one is three, three x squared. We write this as five to the five. It's five, 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 five is that number. So divide, multiply this. That's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. Four, and then these cancel. So four, five to the four is five times five times five times five is 625. 250, break it down using the prime numbers again. So 25 times 10 is 250. So square root 25 and that, square root 25 is five, five square root 10. So now this one, eight squared is this, eight squared, B, B6 and B1 is that. So now divide the powers in there. Two divides this one, two divides this one, two divides that one. And this one stays there. So it's gonna be one, it's gonna be one, it's gonna be three. So eight A, B3, square root of B, that's it. Square both sides. So X minus nine equals 25. So add nine, add nine, 34, try it. 
34 minus that is 25, square 25 is 5, 5 equals 5, yes. So take the square root of both sides. So x plus 1 equals plus or minus 2, x plus 1 negative 2, x plus 1 equals 2, minus 1 minus 1, so x equals negative 3, minus 1 minus 1, x equals 1, check it. Minus 3 plus 1 is negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 is 4, yes. 1 in there, 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 2 is 4, yes. So they both work. Solve the equation by completing the square. So both sides, you're going to add half this number squared, half of that number. That's going to be 3 squared. 3 and 3 is 9. 9. This is going to be 4. Now this right here factors into x plus 3, x plus 3, or x plus 3 squared is that. So now 4. Square root, square root. So x plus 3 equals plus or minus square root of 2. Square root of 4 is a 2. x plus 3 equals negative 2, or x plus 3 equals positive 2. Minus 3 minus 3, so x is negative 5, or x is negative 1, right there, two answers. Use the quadratic formulas. So a is 1 minus 7, 10. Put them in the formula, quadratic formula. So now, positive, 7 times 49, minus 40, is 9, square root of 9 is 3. 7 plus 3 is 10, 7 minus 3 is 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, so m is 5, m is 2. And this is the formula right here. Quadratic formula right there. Just in case you didn't know. Solve the quadratic. Solve, use the quadratic formula to solve the equation. Okay. A is 1, negative 3, 1. So put the numbers in there. Negative, negative is positive. That's going to be 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 plus or minus square root of 5 plus square root of 5, that's all we can do with it. So 3 minus square root of 5 over 2, or 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. That's it. We're done.